Hi guys, it's Liz from Unscripted and this is my very first plan and makeup video. In this first edition of Playing and Makeup, I will be actually playing around in my very first Birch Box order, and that was from February, which was Love Your Lips. And then I also will be playing around in some of my ColourPop eyeshadows that I ordered, which are pressed powders, and the Super Shock Cheek Blush. The products that I will be using from my Birch Box will be the Embryolise Late Moisturizer and also the Super Goop CC Cream in Medium to Dark. I also will be using my ColourPop Pressed Eyeshadow Palette and my Super Shock Blush in the color of Swift. Then of course the LOC, the lipstick Color Me Confident and that is also from my Birch Box. Starting out, I'm going to be using this uh, Embryolise. This is the Late Moisturizer. I'll, of course, just smooth that all over my face. Now, I have to say, when I was putting this on, it was kind of thick. It didn't rub on as smoothly as I'm used to with moisturizers. I usually use gel type of moisturizers because I have oily skin. And this went on kind of rough. The next thing I'm going to try here will be the Super Goop, and this is the CC Cream. And this should be in the color of medium to dark. I showed you guys a swatch on the video, and we'll see what that looks like here. It's looking a little light. I'm not really sure about it, but I put it on and it's way too ashy, entirely too ashy. So next, I am going to start with my eyes. That is tape, I'm using it to guide my eyeshadow just to keep it from going and falling out on the sides, trying to get like a clean look on the sides of that. The first color that I'm going to use from the ColourPop Pilot is going to be the um, Firefly. It's a matte color. It's like a peach or cream color. It's really not peach. It's more cream than anything. I'm just using this for a base. I like to use uh, lighter shadows or shadows that are close to my skin color uh, for bases if I'm not going to prime my eyes with an actual eyeshadow primer. Next, I'm going in with crisscross, and this is like a burnt orange color, and I'm gonna put that in my corners and also throughout my crease. This will end up being over predominantly all of my lid, except for like the inner corners of it. I'm gonna blend it out throughout the video, you'll see, just because it's so vibrant, and I'm really just wanting it for a transition, uh, but it gives a huge, huge color payoff when you put that on, very high pigmented. I did like the texture of it, and I like the application of it. A little bit goes a long way with this color, as you'll see me consistently blending it, blending it out because it's just a lot. And this is not a super glammed up look. This is literally me just playing around in it to see what it basic what a basic look would look like with it like something you could wear to work or you could wear on the weekends or whatever and I'm using like a dome eyeshadow brush I think that's what this one is called it's by elf it's an old one the ones that have the white handles on them I've been having this for quite some time I literally use this pen I mean this brush for everything sometimes I'll put on all of my eyeshadow with one brush don't judge me next I'm switching over to my morphe 25A palette, and I'm going to use a darker shade of brown. I'm using a Echo Tools brush with that. It's just a blending brush. It has two ends. One of them is like an eyeliner end, and the other is a blending brush. I'm putting this um, Morphe brown in the corner of my eye just to kind of give that 
burnt color which it's called crisscross but it's like a burnt orange just to give that some depth and since I have big eyes I kind of like to put dark browns in my corners and in my creases because it kind of helps to give that illusion that my eyes are not just protruding and big it kind of gives them a little bit of shape So there's me just blending that brown out and, and trying to blend it in with that crisscross. And you'll see that the crisscross starts to get a little dimension to it. It's not just flat and orange. And that's really what I'm going for. You know, I've always wondered in some of these makeup videos, I'm like all of the layers of eyeshadow they just put on, why didn't they just put on a shade that is that color? But then after you put your eyeshadow on and you look in the mirror, you'll start to see that you can actually pick up some of those other colors that you've used. Even though you blended the fuck out of them sometimes, you still sometimes can, can look and see, oh, there's three different shades right there, not just one. That's like the beauty of makeup. So as you see me here, I'm going into my crease some more with the some of that crisscross just because I've blended so much of it out. So I want to still have a little bit of the vibrancy uh, that I some that might have gotten washed out with that brown. <clears throat> so I'm just going back into the crease with that and blending, blending, blending so I don't have any harsh lines. Another thing I've noticed on this video is the light is just not forgiving, even though I can't explain it. But on here, like when you guys are looking at it, at times it almost looks like there's not any after you'll see what I'm talking about in a few. Like there's nothing there. But then when I look at it, it's a lot like the eyeshadow. It looks like I've just blended it all away and wiped it away. But then when I look at it in, in the mirror, it looks totally different. So I think I have to work on getting my lighting correct because I think it might have washed me out too much. This is me thinking about what I'm going to do next, even though I, I already know I only have four colors to choose from. So this one is the Paper Tiger, and this is like a yellow color. It's another matte. All of them that I've used so far from this palette are matte colors and mattes are my favorite because I'm oily and I'm maturing, which means older and us older ladies just can't be walking around with glitter on all day long. It accentuates your fine lines and wrinkles sometimes. I'm putting that uh, paper tiger like right into the corners and also on my bottom lid and I'm blending that in. This is another one that gives a really good pigment. I want to play around with these some more and not blend them out as much just to see how bold they'll look. And I'm, I just brought it in a little bit closer so you guys can see that. And this is me again blending with that crisscross because crisscross is so vibrant and you can really, really see it up against the other colors. Looks like I'm just cleaning out from where I might have blended up too far. Now I'm going back into that V with some more of that dark brown from my Morphe palette. Just to deepen that up to make sure it's still there. Because while you're blending, sometimes it gets toned down. So I'm putting some rose water on my eyeshadow brush. And the last color I'm going to use from this palette is going to be play by play. And this is a metallic color. It's like a metallic yellow. It's really pretty. And I'm just going to pat that onto my bottom eyelid. It's like the half circle of my bottom eyelid is where I'm patting that into. The good thing about my eyes is that they're so big that I have definitive lines and shapes. So I kind of have guidelines on where I can put makeup. I have a lot of eye space. I also have a lot of skin on my eyes. So sometimes it can be kind of um, frustrating with different powders, especially if it's too powdery. I had to re-wet this brush just to make sure that I get that packed color on there no streaks that's like a trick when you're using shimmers and glitters if you wet your brush first and put it on you'll get um, more vibrancy and then I'm just blending that out so it's not just like bam glitter <laughs> 
blending that into the corners like the inner corner I'm gonna line my bottom lid with some of the crisscross and also some of the play-by-play -play. and then I'm gonna put some of the crisscross again which is the burnt orange color on my top lid just to see what that does and it actually doesn't do much for me at all but again I did not go bold I was very light-handed with this I'm very light-handed with makeup period especially foundation I'm like I want full coverage but I don't want a lot it's really weird and I just use like a little concealer brush to do my um, waterline and line my eyes with eyeshadows because it's so small and it's perfect then I go into the inner corners with some of that play by play <clears throat> And now I'm just going over one more time with that brown, that dark brown, into my inner crease. See how big my eyes are? I've learned to like them, but I swear I hated them when I was growing up. Hated my eyes. So that's me looking, showing you guys. <laughs> And doing my dance and now it looks more like a, a brownish orange than it does the orange or the burnt orange color so that's done with my eyeshadow I'm about to switch over boom got the liquid liner got the lashes on got me some old uh, BB cream on showing you those lashes those are Ardell Demi Wispies by the way and the liquid liner is flirt cosmetics dot 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 liner the BB cream is just a Maybelline BB cream. This is my true match. I love this super blendable powder in the color of N8 or cappuccino. This is like my favorite powder ever. It helps to minimize the appearance of my pores. To me, it does anyway. And I think that it, it helps me like with my shine. It helps to uh, even out my, my tone or my skin tone. It's just my favorite one and I always apply that with a brush. Uh, the times that I've used like a cosmetic sponge to do it or a beauty blender, it's been too heavy for me. Cause again, I'm like, I want full coverage, but when I get it, I don't want full coverage. And you have to be careful with this because it can get cakey if you do use it with a cosmetic sponge. Apparently I like my look. <laughs> Now it is time for the super shock. And this is the blush. It's like a creamy blush. It's in the color of Swift, which is like a, a reddish orange color. I'm using an e.l.f. Uh, it's an e.l.f. complex. I'm sorry, complexion brush. And I'm just going to swipe that over my cheeks a few times on each cheek. Just to give them a little color. Now you see how many times I'm going over with this blush. I have some blush that is an elf blush and when I tell you I can hardly go over my cheek a half of a time before it is just way too vibrant with this I was very comfortable with the level of rosiness that it gave my cheeks and I swiped it on quite a few times I didn't feel like it overpowered I felt like it was just right as you can see by me winking my eyes like hey girl I'm really liking it So the next thing I'm about to do here is give myself a little highlight using my Too Faced Peach Glow, Sweet Peach Glow Bronzer Set, or it's blush and highlight is what it is. And I have the gold and the peach in the palette. That's how they come. The gold does not work on my skin. It does nothing for my skin. So I'm going to use the peach. And the peach is just so perfect. It is so perfect. I don't know if I'm the only person who thinks that, but it's like my favorite highlight ever. And a little bit goes a long way with it, too. And it smells delicious. Shout out to Too Faced for everything smelling so good. I got the chocolate bar. I have like an ice cream one. And then I have this. I was going to get the eyeshadows, but eh, they're just okay. Then I'm putting a little bit on the button of my nose. Put a little bit on my little forehead there. a little bit of my t-zone brighten that up I swear on camera it looked like I was brightening up to you guys it probably just looks like I'm just brushing a brush over my face and nothing's happening 
So there's my happy dance. I'm happy with my highlight. I'm happy with my look. Now to complete it, or almost, lining my lips. I do this with a um, concealer that is pretty much the color of my skin. It's a NYX concealer, got you covered. Sand Sable is the color. And I just use an angled eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but I love to use that for my lips because it gives me that angle when I'm going from corner to corner. It is the business. So I just blend that out so it doesn't leave like spots or anything. Then I put my lips in and use some of my powder and that bl and the blush brush or the fluffy brush to blend that. Now for the LOC, Color Me Confident. <laughs> just line my lips out with it first. I don't feel lipstick in as soon as I put it on. I always line first. I know a lot of people do this. I don't know why we do it, but then there are the people that just go right in, like full on, just smeared all across. I have to line first because I don't know if I ever want to fool. I'd like to kind of purse my lips together to see if I want to ombre it. I'm never 100% sure my lipstick until it's that time. So looking at it, it looks like I'm not too happy with it. I'm going out and cleaning out around my mouth where it's kind of ran over. And the reason we use concealer around lipstick is so that it doesn't feather and bleed. You can use pencils. There are certain pencils that do this as well. Um, I haven't had any luck with them yet. It's just because I haven't tried enough though. Concealer just works for me. It seems like it makes it look cleaner. Now I'm filling it in and I think it's too bright. Now, looking at it now, I don't think it's too bright. But when I did it, I thought it was too bright. Now, I think it's pretty, actually. So I'm going to put my Milani Pretty Problematic on. <laughs> and this is their cream lipstick. Their cream lipsticks are the fucking bomb. If you haven't already tried Milani cream lipsticks, head to your closest Target. Or you can order them online. They're like 8 bucks, But they're long last and they're matte. And I got some in the corner there. So I'm just going to clean that up, use a little tissue, and then go back around with my, my liner pencil again and that concealer. Y'all, I'm so slow putting on makeup. Like, this video is almost 20 minutes long when I see other people's videos and they put on way more makeup than me and the video's like six minutes. I need to get my life together. But again, I'm an amateur. So this is my full look. This is just me blending out the concealer, straightening up my little head wrap there, and giving you face bitches. Hey. This is my final look with my Birch Box and my ColourPop. I'm loving it. I think I look really pretty. Hey, girl. So, this is the Super Goop Medium to Dark, Not Happy. This is the Embryolease Moisturizer. Ah, it's just okay. I haven't used it enough to say. This is the ColourPop Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. This is the Super Shock. The blush and swift, love that. Just showing you a little bit of my color there. Showing you my eyes again. And then the lips, I didn't say anything about it, but I actually did like the lipstick. Final look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Sorry it took so long, but please, please join me next time. Like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye.